are all beauties. As the summer vacation season on Cape Cod winds down, anglers await another late summer rush. It was late August when Kevin Blinkoff and I splashed on the water's 25 tournament contender in Falmouth Harbor and pushed off the dock one early morning in search of funny fish. Benito and False Albacore, two hard-fighting fish, have called these waters their seasonal home. These fish are fast and often feed aggressively on large schools of bait, prevalent when the waters of Nantucket and Vineyard Sound warm steadily during the summer months. With a bluebird day ahead of us, Kevin and I headed out to one of the first spots that these fish show each year, an area just a few miles south of Martha's Vineyard known to boaters as the Hooter. All right guys, we just arrived today where we're gonna be looking for the funny fish. Hopefully some albacore may have moved in, but we're gonna mostly target Benito on light tackle. What we've got is four rigs we're gonna set up. We're gonna to use two outriggers out here, one on the back, two on the back. We're gonna see if we can't get into these fish right away. Chris, I'm gonna set up uh, Yozuri Crystal Minnows on here. I got two shallow runners that we can run and then two deeper runners once we figure out if these fish are deeper or if they're willing to hit these shallow guys. Start with the four rod spread and see what gets hit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run right along the edge of this thing. These fish have been holding anywhere from about 20 to 30 feet. So what we're gonna try to do is get the speed up as fast as we can go without popping these things out of the water. Right now we're running at about six and a half knots. Tight, oh, tight, tight, tight. There we go, fish on. Kev, you I'll got it. That. You want... I'm gonna go ahead and clear the other line. Now this is, the, uh, this is on one of the deep divers. Now you can tell, usually tell pretty quickly. If it's a bonito, you'll get that fast run, start sizzling the drag. So we'll keep moving around, see if we can figure out where the bonito are. So our first fish today is a bluefish, which isn't bad, it's still fun. It lets us know we're in an area that has a lot of bait. Still a lot of fun on this light tackle, not the bonito we're looking for, but we'll keep searching. Oh, that's a nice blue, huh? Guys, we just got out of here right now. Sun hasn't been up half an hour. We're gonna be doing a little funny fishing today. We're looking for the albacore and bonito. We've got four really light rods, beautiful Cabo setups from Quantum, married with a Cabo 40 spinning reel. We've got some Missouri crystal minnows out there that are the five inch surface lures. We just run it right along the surface. We got birds working. The key to trolling for these funny fish is speed, speed, speed. I found that if you get down below six knots, you're gonna get into the bluefish. If you can stay up above six knots, these tuna will come up and slash you. Come on. Tight, right, there you go. There Kevin. we go. I'm gonna to try to pick up a double here. That's a bonito. I'm out of gear, Kev. That's definitely a bonito. Yeah, look at the way that thing, that drag is going and screaming line. That's awesome. Boy, we can't seem to go for more than two minutes here without a fish hitting. Oh, he's coming at me now. He's coming at me. You know right away it's a bonito when all of a sudden it comes running at you like that with so much speed, all you can do is kind of keep up and try and keep the line tight. And then when they want to turn and go, you got to make sure you got a nice smooth drag, nice and light, because they'll just pull drag and run like that right there. So you get a great battle from these fish. They're just so much fun on light tackle. It's typical bonito right there. That's why, that's why these fish are so fun. So what we were doing there is on these Yozuri crystal minnows, I've got on the shallow runner. And in order to keep that swimming beneath the surface on the fast troll, we're just holding on to the rod, keeping the tip near the water. Oh, there he goes. I can see him coming along the surface now. It's a short season for these guys, and when they show up in Mid-August, late August, everybody gets excited because there's so much fun to catch. Fun way to catch them and fun way to fight them on this light spinning gear. All right, we're just gonna swing them right in, Chris. You wanna try and grab his tail there? Nice, thank you, Chris. So this is it right here. This guy's an Atlantic Bonito. This is why we came out to the Hooter this morning to try and get into these fast fish. And you can see what it is. It's a, it's a relative of the mackerel and the tuna. It's got the hard tail and it's just built for speed. You can tell it's a Bonito because it's got this green color. And these stripes along the back, and it's also got teeth. 
So that's how you tell the difference between a Bonito and a false albacore. These guys have teeth. A lot of fun on light tackle, and we're going to get the lines back out and get another one. The Hootie gets its name from the whistle buoy that marks the opening of Muskegon Channel and the southern edge of Wasky Shoal. It's the steep edge of this massive shoal and the strong currents that draw in the game fish. It's a sandy shoal just south of Martha's Vineyard. And to our south, basically, is open ocean. It's, uh, if you keep going, you'll hit Bermuda eventually. And that's where the Bonito lives most of the year. They are open water fish. Right now, getting a chance to fish with Kevin Blinkoff, our executive editor. I don't know, every time Kevin and I get a chance to get out here and fish together, we always do well. Tight, tight. Take us out of gear. Ah, it looks like a big bluefish just popped right out of the surface. What are we, three miles south of the vineyard? I was just trolling it off to the side. Mm -hmm. And when you get to hold onto the rod like that and feel them hit, even though you're yeah. trolling, you get the fun of that. The braided line, too. You it. feel that lure, you know it's swimming right, and then you feel it the second that fish hits. And there's his lunch. You can see what he's been eating. All those sand eels. We're three miles south of the vineyard. It's open water from here. But this is not a far ride for a 20-foot boat. Just picking your day. Yeah, we got a lot of small bait in the water, a lot of uh, hungry fish. You don't need to bring out the heavy trolling gear for bluefish this size and for bonito. That's a medium heavy uh, spinning rod, like 30 pound braided line. And you can troll for these fish with this, you know, what is light tackle for trolling and have a lot of fun with them. You're going to keep him, throw him in the cooler? You know what? Uh, Labor Day weekend coming up, I think we can use one more bluefish for the cooler. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're trolling three lines right now, and in order to keep these plugs in the water when we're moving fast, just holding one rod, keeping the tip pointed down toward the water, keeps the line low and keeps that plug swimming down so it doesn't skip out across the top. And what we want to do is try and push the limit, troll as fast as we can, but still keep the plug swimming and looking good. And that'll up the chances that a bonito, which is a faster swimming fish, can hit the lure uh, before a blue fish can come up and whack it. Come on, there we go. Oh, that's, look at that drag go. Okay, hey, I'm gonna keep it in here and clear the lava line. Yeah, maybe you'll hook up another one because they're definitely in school. So I can feel this is a bonito right now. Just when that thing hit, immediately scream and drag. Hit that Yozuri Crystal Minnow, the uh, shallow runner. Nice bonito. There he goes. I'm just gonna let him run, just gonna enjoy it. Yeah, but one thing, Kev, that I've noticed is that I've got two lines on the starboard side, but the profile on them are very different from where your profile is. Right now, you're running your profile real low. Mm -hmm. We're just keeping that in the water. All right, I'm gonna give you a little slack. You ready to grab yeah, him? Yeah, well, I just wanna grab that leader, and then he's coming in. But you know what? He's just coming straight in. There you go. Nice, thank you, Chris. You got it, buddy. Yeah, these guys are in the tuna family. They're, they are fast, fast swimmers. You can see how strong they are for a little fish, so you need to use a lure that has good hooks, otherwise they're gonna bend them out. I'm gonna just dip them. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> nice catch and release right there. Right now I'm at about seven knots, but it's a lot easier this way. Go running with the uh, current. We know this fish here, we got bait here, we got birds working on the surface. The biggest obstacle for us right now is keeping our lines clean. So we're gonna to try to drop down about five to six feet below the surface. Give us an opportunity to keep the lines a little cleaner. We're in 20, we should be around 25 feet of water. Starting to look like there's some activity up ahead of you, Chris. You're watching on the water TV. We're attacking big fish. Oh yeah, bam! Yeah. <laughs> a little Kool-Aid man there, huh? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. This guy is just screaming drag. I'm tight. We're doubled up. I just made a cast see if there's anything else in the area. My lure hit the water and a bluefish blew up on it. I didn't even move it. Kevin, you called it. We saw the, um, the bait balls being harassed, and there was some big marks all around it. 
Well, we've got a great day out here on the water, Kev. We've gotten some bonito, we've got some bluefish. Plenty of action. We've got doubles here. This is a fun sized bluefish. Great size. We've been out here having a great day. Late summer action. Big bluefish and bonito out at the Hooter. Just three miles south of Vineyard Kev. Great time, huh? A lot of bait in the water, a lot of hungry fish, uh, and a lot of action. I'm having a good time. I'm going to get this guy back in the water. I think he's going to swim just fine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Looks good. And gone. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us today out here. Kevin Blinkoff, Chris Megan, filming On the Water Earth's Angling Adventures. Stay tuned. On the way in, we encounter some incredible top water action. There are fish breaking 360 degrees right now. <laughs> Let's get back on them, boys. I'm on. There we go. Oh. Chris, get in there and double up. What's nice about this is that this morning we spent some time out back side of the vineyard, not, not that far from here. And then I'll boat like this, it was an easy run, about 45 minutes, and we were into Benito with some blues mixed in. Come in shore right now, the Albi bite is really picked up. Every bird is probably flying over bait, keeping an eye on bait or looking for fish to break. Because this time of year, there's just, there's so much bait in the water, so much food. And you got all these fish that are getting excited. Uh, they're packing up, they're getting ready for fall migration, they're getting ready to move, so they're feeding pretty heavily. Kev, what I'm gonna do is let you take this Here, thing in. Grab this, head up to the bow. We don't wanna run and gun today, but when we see a big group of fish feeding on bait and they're staying up, there's no other boats on them right now, we can get a approach up to them, get a cast, try and figure out which way they're moving, and then drift down into them. And that's the best way to get these fish hooked up and not spook them. Here we go, right here, kid, right here, breaking up. Look at this right here. Right now, it's so exciting. That's what these fish do to you. You can see they're right ahead of the boat. Kevin's giving me a great shot. I am on them. I'm right through them, baby, right through them. I can't resist. I'm in there, too. <laughs> yeah. Right through them. Nothing. Uh, Nothing. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was awesome. That is awesome. Nice, Chris, nice. This is what you love about these Benito and Albacore, how quick they move. This thing is just flying. He's taking some serious line. I'm gonna come back there. A lot of times you'll think you'll lose these fish. You haven't lost them. They've just turned and burned and coming back the other way. Kev, he's right underneath him. He's yeah, right I'm underneath watching him, I'm watching him. He's underneath the boat. Boy, they just go wherever they want, huh? These things you cannot, on light tackle, look at the, oh, there he go, he's gone. Chris, we got more breaking. Get right back into them. There's right, fish. Bump us up, Kev. We got fish breaking. Open. Look, look at that, Faithful. I got go go, go, to go, 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 go. Well, guys, we're out here not five minutes. I already hooked up. Lost them at the boat. Every single direction that you could possibly look at is fish breaking on the surface, which is really cool. The thing we got to try to fight is the need to try to run and gun after these fish. So we got, I know there's fish all around us. We just gotta be a little patient here. Right here on our side. Look at him, look at him go right here. Oh, that's great. How do I not hook one? Oh, I'm right in him. I'm on, there we go. Oh. Just try and keep the, the rod tip down. It seemed like once I got that lure in the water and not skipping, they were all over it. Chris, get in there and double up. I'm gonna, don't mind me here. Just get in there and, oh, look at them go. Tight, baby. There we oh, go. Oh, I just threw it, just threw it. Keep it moving, they'll still smack it. Boy, this, these, these fish are awesome. There's just nothing better than this. You could swim unbelievably fast. That was cool. It was funny because they were off the bow to the port side and the next thing you know, Kevin, he came up behind us and I was ripping as fast as I could. Just bringing that epoxy jig just right under the surface through the fish like that. You see one break off the school, get behind it and just start chasing it and that's it. You get an explosion and there's almost that delay. You're like, didn't that just hit my lure? And there's about a second or two before you feel it actually strike. And then just start screaming line. 
Look at that beautiful fish. They're good sized fish, they're a lot of fun. And just beautiful. Get them kicked. Nice fat fish. Let me give you a hand. I, can, I think I can uh, got swing them in here. There we go, grab them. Get the tail, there we go. Whoa. Nice Albie. It's exactly what you want, late summer, fall. Look at the little football. Uh, just gave a great fight, that lots of fun. It's, it's, it's thick, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna get him on a hook quickly and get him back in the water. These fish are just awesome. So we came up, took our first shot on the port side, nothing there, there. And while I was retrieving quick on the port side, they came up right behind the boat and kept tied into one instantaneously there. All right, I'm gonna get this guy. I'm gonna give him a quick shove back in Go to ahead. get some oxygen and then get him on his way. Thank you. There he goes. Look how quick they take off. Awesome that fish. That was awesome, huh? Kevin, uh, nice fish, buddy. Thank you. I love those guys. So one of the things that Kevin said earlier is that he's fishing a pink, I'm fishing a blue. But Kev, yeah, you, you can know, see this is this is what we just had that fish on. But what Kevin said is that this is definitely going to stick out of the uh, school bait there, so that they're feeding on these. But if they see this guy coming through, they're going to react to it. It's, when it's such a frenzy, anything yeah. that's a little bit different, anything a little bit big, bigger that looks like it might be wounded. They're jumping on it, so we don't have, we, it's, it's literally twice the size. It doesn't matter though, guys. I mean, we haven't matched the color to the tee. We actually have blue and purple. Still working. There are fish breaking 360 degrees right now. You like that? Let's get back on them, boys. Chris, get I'm in tight, there. I'm tight, This is as good as it gets. False albacore often show just a few hundred yards off the beaches of Cape Cod in late August. And this time of year often provides some of the best and most exciting fishing of the season. Hey guys, welcome back. We had a great morning this morning. We were trolling off of the back side of the vineyard in between Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. We were trolling for Benito and we had a lot of big bluefish in the mix. But we took a break at lunchtime, went in, grabbed a bite, came out in the afternoon and it was a whole different bite. We went light tackle for albacore and they're just breaking all over the surface. Kev, this has been pretty exciting. Well, this is what this uh, late summer fishery is all about. It's not quite the fall run yet, but you got all this bait starting to pile up. You get Albies and Benito showing up, and it's only gonna get better from here. I think the whole month of September to me is just one of the best months to fish up in the Northeast. You know, you get for shore guys, for boat guys, you get a ton of bait, and you get hungry fish, and you got a, more options than you have, I think, at any other time of the year. Look out there, nobody's even on those, no birds, just, just Let's fish get on blowing it. up. Kev, you got the wheel, I got the rock, at this thing. All right. Right there here, he is. Uh, how, how did we not hook up on that? Chris, get in there. This is as good as it gets. Oh, tight. Chris is tight. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, well, we were unhooking that fish. It kind of forced us to stay put. And the fish come up right off our bow like that. Just a huge school of them. The anglers think they lose these fish because they'll run at you as fast as they run away from you. A lot of times, anglers will give up on it. But all the fish is doing is running at you. You just got to keep up with it. And fishing the epoxy jigs that Hoagie puts out with standard tackle. The profile I have is a little bit larger than what Kev has. Kev's got the blue epoxy. He was kind enough to let me steal his bubble gum color that is his favorite. And that's paid off with a couple of fish. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can grab this guy now. Late season now, I'll be fishing. Just beautiful fish. Chris, you should see what's over your back shoulder right now. Look at him, look at him going. <laughs> Let's get back on him, boys. <laughs> look at this, right over here to our right. I'm gonna turn. Yeah, turn, turn. Get us in there, Kev. There he is. I'm gonna put us right above and we'll blow right down into them. The whole area is pretty much just flat and sandy, so they're not holding to any specific structure. And then all along the south side of Cape Cod, you've got these salt ponds and estuaries, and we got a dumping tide now, and so you get balls of bait coming out right now. The fish are just chasing them around, pushing them around. Wherever they can group that bait together and feed, they're gonna feed, so. Look at them, Kev, dead ahead of us. Uh. You good, Chris? I think I'm, I'm tight, I'm tight. Let me get around you here. Here we go. 
Yeah, but when you hook up there, I think I was gonna snap this rod in half. That's my rod. <laughs> Let's get that fish in real quick. This guy is just hunkered down. It's been the longest feed we've had all day, and uh, you've been fighting your fish during this. Oh, he's huge. Look how big he is. <laughs> a tank. Let's see if we can get this guy. This is, I think, our biggest one of the day. Uh, all right. Got him. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that is a beast. That's a big Albie right there. He might go 10 pounds. Guys, that's a slob Albie right there, fishing vineyard sound. You got to pan around and look. There are fish breaking 360 degrees right now. We got to get back in on them. Going down. Nice. Really healthy. Nice, <laughs> Thank you. Kev, I'm going to stay with the pink for a little while. I'm feeling it. Chris, the fish are breaking 360 degrees around us right now, and there's not another boat. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for a cast here. Kev, I like it. How's that? Is that good for you, Chris? That feels like it, Kev. You like that? I really like it. Oh, the old oh, button that blue. Looks good. Come on. There we go. Here we go, Yuri. Go, Chris, get in there. Let's double up. Right now, we're going to do it. That is a great feed. Look at that. Get Where'd it they in. Go? Where'd they go? Get it in the water. They're all around. Oh, he's running toward me, running toward me. Look at him go. There he is. <laughs> they got the hard tail, fork tail, built for speed. And I don't think there's another inshore fish like that. Oh, look at that. Another beautiful albie, a little late in the day. You can see the light uh, getting low in the sky. It just looks beautiful on that fish. A great fighting fish, a great, a great looking fish. The only thing they're not as good eating, so we're gonna get the hook out of him and get him back in the water. They've got these finlets along the top here, and that's how they steer. These things are built like, like jet airplanes. This fin right here can retract down into the body and then on the side, this fin does the same. So they can tuck those in and be totally streamlined and then flare them out like an airplane to change direction. All right, I'm gonna pop the hook out and get him back in. You can see he hit that hoagie epoxy jig in blue. With one quick push right back into the water, get the water moving over his gills, he'll be fine. There we go. And there he goes. Okay, well that was one of the most enjoyable days of fishing we've had in a long time. We had many opportunities, both on the troll and casting. Yeah, I had a ton of fun today. It's this time of year, you can expect, you can expect a lot of bait in the water, a lot of fish feeding hard, and uh, just some great opportunities to catch a lot of fun inshore fish. Guys, you'd like to learn more about today's show, log on to onthewater.com. It's hard to head in right now, but with the sun setting, it's time to call it a day. Kev, really a lot of fun.